Are we done? Are we there? We, Have we hit we the... Are, uh, are, we are there. Right. Okay. Welcome, 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 everybody, to this live and exciting presentation that we've got for you tonight. Uh, happy Easter to everybody. Um, it's been our bank holiday weekend over here in the UK, uh, where we've all been stuffing eggs left, right, and centre. <laughs> <laughs> I'm suffering. You're suffering. You're suffering. Yeah. Wow! Look at this. We actually this is a pretty darn good turnout for a uh, Monday night yeah. bank holiday. We've got I'm, lots I'm and impressed, lots of names. And, and a lot of people we don't know yet. Well, I, I've never, yeah. I haven't spoke to before, yeah. which is incredible. Yeah. So I'm hey, impressed. everybody! Look at all these people. Okay. So we've got Colin. We've got. Cora, we've got Dave, we've got Dean, we've got Hazel, Helena, wow, there's some names here I don't recognise, Kylie's on, so we've got quite a few people that have come in and they've joined yeah. us, we've got some guests from all over the world tonight, so it's great Fantastic. to uh, see you. So guys, the chat should um, be unlocked at the moment and uh, the questions should also be open. The other thing is that um, we've now got a Facebook fan page as well for our um, online networkers paradise so if you want to guys want to go over to facebook.com stroke online networkers paradise make sure that you like the page uh, uh, because we could well be interacting over there as well. How about um, that? We've got it right in front of you. We've got it well. there. Boom! Wow, look How at about that. that? That's a do 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 do. <laughs> so, <laughs> either that or extremely organised. So uh, yeah. tonight we're going to give you 60 minutes of absolute value. So from straight away, I want you to ask you to turn off all your distractions, turn off your cell phones, turn off your email, your Skype, anything that's going to ping or pong at you, just turn it off, turn it off, give us your undivided attention because we have got a fabulous, fabulous hot training tonight for you. Um, so I really want you to stay with us and stay focused for the next 60 minutes because hopefully you're going to be in a really quiet place and you're going to be able to sit down, grab a pen and paper. <laughs> I'll have a nice cool black currant, but I didn't have any ice cubes, so I stuck some frozen fruit in which I thought would chink nice. <laughs> <laughs> you you broke you broke bit. up for me then, and I just thought yeah. I just heard have a nice black currant at the end of it, yeah, which, is quite, yeah. which is quite cool. So <laughs> missed the first so just bit. Me. What like was it all yeah. about? <laughs> get, get your fa guys, get your favourite beverage out. Mine tonight. I've got a nice black currant. I should be on the Merlot, but I'm sure somebody is. You're but anyway, so Not me. I want you to get yourselves relaxed, get focused, get your pen and paper ready because we are going to be covering a Facebook warm market power strategy tonight and um, our trainer we've got our very very special trainer who I'll introduce you to in a minute um, powerful thinking equals powerful results and he's going to be going over that so it really doesn't matter who you are tonight it doesn't matter whether you're you know in um, a network marketing company that is well known not well known if you're brand new to network marketing internet marketing anything like that we are going to teach you how to cover your Facebook wall market tonight so let me just first of all introduce myself because I haven't done that yet my name is Debbie Short and I'm here in London in the UK and uh, We've had a lovely bank holiday weekend, and uh, mm -hmm. as is typical, it's been raining here in London. Uh, let me also introduce to you our panel. Uh, before I introduce our very special trainer for you, let me introduce our panel. Live from Scotland, all the way up in Bonnie Bonnie, Scotland, where I think he's been doing a bit of gardening, so the sun yes, must have been shining. Mr. Today. Angus McEwen. Good evening, Hooray. Angus. Good evening. Good evening, Angus. Angus. Hey, Hello. Good evening, good evening. And then from somewhere in Middle England, I'm not quite sure where. Middle England. 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 Middle um, she, I hope she hasn't been frying any Mars bars in chocolate today because <laughs> they do funny things in the middle of England. I'm not sure, but anyway, <laughs> from the lovely liver sausage or somewhere around about that space, we've got the beautiful Miss Beth Hewitt. Hey, Beth. Hello. Hello. And I don't even know where I am. I know that I'm <laughs> somewhere in the middle. You're somewhere in the middle. You're somewhere in the middle. So, Anyway, our trainer this evening is also from the UK, and um, he lives, uh, at the moment, he lives in Guildford, 
but I definitely think that you came from Mars bar frying country, which was up in Birmingham somewhere <laughs> a, exactly. long, a long time ago. Yes. So I'd like to welcome you and introduce Mr. Gavin Mountford, who's going to be doing our training tonight. So good evening, Gavin. Well, thank you very much, and good evening to you and to everybody else. Appreciate that warm welcome. Well, I've not finished yet because there's something else that I just wanted to cover before we get into your training. So, you guys, you're going to have to hang tight. Just gives you the chance to get that all-important pen and paper. So, um, before we dig into that Facebook wall marketing strategy and um, my wet pussycat climbs across <laughs> my desk, <laughs> um, just wanted to, to talk to you guys because so tonight we're on Online Networkers Paradise. And there's just something that I really wanted to clear up, and that is the, the subtle difference between what a network marketer is and what an internet network marketer is, and what a very wet cat on your desk also is. Mm -hmm. Yuck. Yeah, so I just want to say to you <laughs> what the difference Now, this is my definition of what the difference is before we dig into this um, Facebook wall marketing power strategy the difference between network marketers and internet marketers. So if you're a network marketer, you may well be somebody that's in a traditional MLM, which is a multi-level marketing company or a network marketing company that sells a product, something that you can buy. It's usually a very high value product um, and you work together with by yourself or sometimes with teams of people and you network with your warm market and friends etc but you tend to do network marketing that tends to be offline the other type of marketing is to put it sort of in a loose bracket is internet marketers now internet marketers are usually people that have an affiliation to a product. So that could be um, something that will train you. Let's say you want to know how to grow bonsai trees, the ever famous mm -hmm. bonsai tree or the ever famous dog training program. So you have an affiliation to that program and you earn commission by promoting that program. Or you could be somebody very, very clever like our trainer this evening who mm -hmm. actually makes and produces their own products and they sell those products online. If, like me, you're a bit of a hybrid, uh, this is, <laughs> this is a, I like to put myself on a pedestal. If you're like myself and pretty much um, Gavin, um, our trainer tonight and Angus and Beth, we like to consider ourselves as online network marketers. That means that we take our network marketing and not only do we practice that offline, but we also very much market online. And um, so that what, that's what really makes us a bit of a hybrid and that's what online networkers paradise is all about. It's showing you, the network marketer or marketer, how you can actually promote and market your network marketing company online. So I just wanted to, to really get that clear and um, let everybody know what we're about and what the difference is. So. I've gabbled on for long enough and um, I'm sure that you're really excited to um, be um, hearing from Gavin because he's got this great training for us. So Gavin, uh, Facebook wall marketing power strategy. We're yes, really yes, yes. Let's Absolutely. go. Absolutely. Let's, Let's rock and there. roll. Welcome, everybody. Um, thank you for that uh, wonderful introduction and great explanation of the difference between an online uh, internet marketer and a network marketer because there is a huge difference. I'm just interested to hear, um, and if you know how to raise your hand on the webinar, if you're promoting a network marketing company right now, whether it's offline or online, just raise your hand so I know if you're a network marketer or if you're not a network marketer, if you're may maybe promoting an affiliate program, I would like to see hopefully a lot of hands raised here because then I know specifically that you're network marketers and that you probably or possibly came onto the internet to build your network marketing business. Um, and what can often happen um, and uh, what can often happen with, mo with a lot of people when they first get started and you know I've, I've been in traditional network marketing for um, for 15 years you know first got started um, offline uh, many many years ago came onto the internet about 
11 years ago to build my network marketing business. But what can happen to most people and what happened to me when I first got online is I got completely sidetracked. I got distracted and I started to try to overcomplicate things far too much. And I don't know if you've ever done that before yourself. You know, you get onto the internet, you, you, you know you're going to build your network marketing business, but all of a sudden you start to see all these other programs, all these other systems, all these other tools, and you kind of get stuck in amongst all that. And, and it literally just takes up all your time and, and you end up overcomplicating things. And what then happens is anytime you um, sponsor somebody into your business, if you teach them those skills, it tends to confuse them as well. So if your downline is not growing, if you've got a couple of people in your team and they're internet network marketers, it's probably because they're overcomplicating things far too much. And there are some very, very simple ways to build your network marketing business without getting into all of the all of the internet marketing stuff. Now, don't get me wrong, the internet marketing thing is incredibly powerful once you've started to build your team, once you've started to, to, to network with people, because if you think about it, the world is, uh, it's about networking with other people, it's about building relationships, it's about talking to people, it's about getting to know people, and it's about just being real with people. Um, and I, I, you know, there's, there's a couple of people that came to me recently and, and said to me, um, they said, you know, Gavin, what am I supposed to do now? I've, 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 I'm in an, I've just joined a network marketing company. Um, I've spoken to all my friends and family, and nobody's interested. You know, they've they've seen that I've done these things before. I've joined other businesses before, um, and I've told my friends and family about it. And I've exhausted everybody. I have nobody left. And th th there's several people, and, and and you know, you may be in a similar situation that you've spoken to all your friends and family, just like your upline told you originally. You've exhausted your uh, warm market, and now you're possibly looking to the internet to be able to extend that warm market and reach more people so you can bring more people into your business but doing it in a simple way so right now if you're not already if you don't already have I would say about a team of between 50 to 100 people I would focus on the basics focus on what works what has always worked if you think about how long network marketing has been around for, and I'm going to show you some some uh, an incredible skill and a tactic in a few minutes. So make sure you stick around. But if you think about how long network marketing has actually been around for um, offline, it's worked incredibly well for I, I don't know how long, you know, 50, 60, 100 years, maybe even some companies out there from then. What's happened now is yes, there's the internet, but there's also internet marketing, and people have complicated things too much. Therefore, it's time to, to kind of step back, come back to basics, and do what you probably do best, and that is to network and build relationships and connect with other people. But once you've exhausted your warm market, you've got to, uh, you've got to find a way to, um, to be able to reach more people. So if I could show you a way that you could leverage Facebook with, uh, some some incredible skills right now, and if I could show you a way that you may never have seen before, um, is that something that you'd want to know about? Uh, just so you can extend your warm market, so you can reach a lot more people. Just raise your hand and let me know if that's something you'd like to know about, and then I will go into yeah. some more of the hands strategy. Are going up. Lots mm -hmm. of hands coming up. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. What I'd like to just talk about briefly is um, something called, well, let, let me just take a step back for a second before, I just want to kind of frame this first before we go into um, the actual methods and strategies that I've, I've been using um, pretty successfully for the last, well, this specific strategy for the last six months. Um, you know, I've, I've been using Facebook for many, many years, probably about seven or eight years. I noticed Facebook turned, I think it was 10 the other day, wasn't it? Which mm. is... Uh, pretty impressive they've been around for that long. Why have they been around for that long? It's because they do what we do best and that is network with other people. Now you might want to make a note of this um, and this possibly if you've ever tried to sponsor somebody into your business before, if you've ever tried to um, sign somebody up that you didn't know and maybe you've, you know, you've just sent a link to somebody on Facebook and they've kind of just ignored your link, uh, maybe you've posted it on Facebook, maybe you've um, sent it through email and, and somebody just hasn't got back to you because that's often what happens. 
one of the reasons is because people tend to, and this works offline and online, people tend to do business and join people and buy products from people they know, like and trust. Um, and this is essentially what we've got here, the know, like and trust factor, the KLT factor. And what I'd like to do is if you've got your pen and paper there, just I'm going to have to do this with my mouse, so it may not be great. My little pen's not working, unfortunately. Um, but I'm just going to draw some, and if you just draw some like concentric circles, I think that's what it's called. Is that what it's called, mm, Angus? You draw it. <laughs> I'm doing that. They're impressed. I'm drawing drawing. With a mouse at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> now, normally I've got a little pen that does it better. Than Shall this we? You'll get. <laughs> you'll get the idea. Okay, so we'll go to about this. I don't know how many there are, but what you're going to find is when you when you first get started on the internet, or even when you first get started in the network marketing business, you've got to start to build relationships and develop. What what tends to happen is when you first meet somebody. I mean, I I remember um, I remember when I first started network marketing about 15 years ago. Um, I, my sponsor was a guy called Paul Newth. Um, I'm pretty sure he won't be on here now because he was definitely a traditional <laughs> offline network marketer. You're um, out there, Paul. But he may be. <laughs> um, I haven't seen him since. But he, he um, I remember going to B&Q with him the one time. And we've got a shop over here in the UK called B&Q. Uh, it's like a hardware store. And he he said, watch this. And, and he was going to go and start talking to people. And he, he took me uh, into B&Q. And I remember getting to the, the, the till to pay at the end. And he just started to strike up a conversation with this probably seven, he must have been about an 18 to 19 year old boy who obviously didn't like his job. And, and Paul did his magic. Um, and, and this guy at the end of it, this little kid was like, yeah, I'd love to know more about what you do. Um, but it was only because Paul built the relationship with him and he knew how to do it very quickly that Paul was then able to give his business card to and probably, I don't know if he actually followed up later, but he was doing it to show me how easy it was to build relationships with people. But he was just being himself. You know, He wasn't trying to be anything special. He wasn't trying to sell a business to him. Yes, he may have had a kind of a hidden agenda, but he was a networker by heart. And that's what you probably are if you're if you've joined a network marketing business. And that's what we want to be doing more of on the internet, but leveraging the internet to actually do that. Now, what happens when, and, and if you think about, let's just take Facebook as an example. When you first um, make friends with somebody on Facebook, they come into, and let me just change the color of my pen for a second. They come into this here. And you end up potentially, I mean, if you look at how many friends you've got, I, I'd be interested to know, um, maybe just type into the um, into the chat box or question, but uh, maybe the chat box. Um, how many friends you've actually got on Facebook right now? Um, have you got a hundred? Have you got five hundred? Have you got a thousand? Um, have you got more? You know, I've I've been building, and, and the same with Angus, the same with um, Debbie, the same with uh, Beth. We've been building our friends for many many years, and you know, I think I'm close to about four thousand people mm. now, and that's because I've literally been going out there every single day building relationships with people but what happens is they come into this first circle so they don't know you they don't like you because they don't know you and they don't trust you so what tends to happen is if you try to prospect somebody into a business or get them into your business or send them a link they're not going to join 90 I'd say 95 to 99 percent of the time because they're still in this they don't know you and that's one of the big problems. Most people try to, to recruit people and sponsor people from, from here, from this. What happens is this little circle right in the middle is your warm, warm market. This is usually your friends and family that know you. Now what tends to happen is most people, and you may be similar to this, you may have done this yourself, but when you first join a network marketing business, you're, you're told to, and it's the right thing to do, speak to your friends and family um, and, and see if they'd be interested. And there's, you know, there's, there's special ways to do it. Um, but what tends to happen is after you've done it a couple of times, if you've been in several different opportunities, um, I don't know if anyone's typed in how many friends they've got on there yet. Um, yeah. Yeah, we've yeah. got some people have got up to mm -hmm. 4,000, a couple of people have got 450, yeah, there's some people have typed in that, but yeah, 
cool. Awesome. Seven hundred plus. Yeah, we've got some good cool. figures. So, so, so a lot of you, a lot of people have you've been networking already, and you've been building relationships. You get out there, and ideally, what you want to do is speak to, and I'll try and write this. You want to speak to about ten new people per day. And that is easy to do. It takes roughly, if you do it the way that I'm going to show you, it'll take roughly about 30 minutes a day and just engage in people, but there's no hidden agenda. But what's happened, if I come back to what I was talking about just, what happens here is these people get fed up of you talking to them about an opportunity. And they, they like roll their eyes and they're not, I don't know if you've, you've ever had that um, before with somebody, you, you speak to a friend or a family that you kind of know and they just go oh yeah he's, he's at it again show me the mm -hmm. money first and then I'll join you yeah yeah that's quite common yeah it it is so when people exhaust this and, and these people generally this is where you have to get people let's say into this circle people have to know like and trust you before they join your business so your goal is to bring people from here on the outside gradually through conversation and through um, posting content on your Facebook page and your profile um, and people seeing and we'll talk about that in another training um, but gradually gradually and gradually you bring people into the next circle and the next circle and the next circle until eventually they know you because you've struck up a relationship with them there's no hidden agenda you're literally just trying to make friends with people you're just trying to build that relationship and people will generally join your business when they're here so just think about that everybody you've got on Facebook if you've got 500 friends most of them have probably you've probably connected so they're probably somewhere about here you've got to just reach out a little bit more and build that relationship again so if you've I mean I was doing it again today I was I was going into uh, my, my Facebook and I was contacting a few people I was going back through some of my old friends that I've never really connected with um, and just striking a conversation and said yeah you know I've seen I've seen you around I've seen you doing stuff on Facebook great to hear from you so that person was already kind of about here so I'm gradually building the relationship and bringing people in and again, it does. There doesn't have to be a hidden agenda. I think this is, uh, and 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 Debbie, um, you you'll probably uh, agree with this as well. That there doesn't have to be a hidden agenda, and it's it's possible to just build a relationship with somebody. And what tends to happen, um, uh, and and Angus is a great mm. example um, of this as well. When an opportunity comes around, when when you let's just imagine that your company was about to do a new promotion or maybe for some reason you joined another company um, or maybe your company was launched in a different country if you've built the relationships with these people up front and in advance it's so much easier to go to these people and say hey you know there's a company that I'm with has just launched a new promotion or and I've got you know got an opportunity for a handful of people um, is that something that would be of interest to you and those people because they know you um, and, and Angus I don't know if you just want to just talk for a couple of um, uh, you know I know you did this quite well um, last year in fact um, you know just with regards to speaking to people that you built a great relationship with and Angus managed to sponsor I, I don't know how many it was but he sponsored a lot of people very quickly as a result of that yeah just what you're saying like your circle thing is true because I don't like I mean we're all you don't like being pitched on Facebook you don't want somebody just sending you a link or you get to know you can smell a pitch coming when <laughs> someone starts speaking to you yeah. you're like oh no they're going to pitch me um, <laughs> here but, it comes they're warming up I know. Boom. yeah but yeah. definitely I mean with me when it started was when I was in another um, online training community <clears> and I was I started going back to the people that I'd been building a relationship up with for the previous six months and just chatting and asking them how they were doing and then some of them was asking how I was doing and it became a natural conversation so yeah I mean for me it is all about relationship building yeah, and and you're fantastic at doing that, and a lot a lot of people aren't as good at doing that. But it takes a bit of time, and if you can develop and cultivate the relationships now, what tends to happen is you'll find a new opportunity maybe in in six months' time, and let's say you join an opportunity um, or some there's a promotion with your company, and you'll go, oh, I wish I knew more people. 
Well, instead of wishing you knew more people in six months, why not do something about it today and go out and build those relationships and cultivate those relationships with people? So that's what I wanted to touch on with regards to the KLT factor or the, the no like and trust factor. Hopefully you've got a note of that, but just bear that in mind and think about it as you're going back through Facebook because you are more than likely sitting on a gold mine in Facebook if you've got let's say more than a hundred friends because those people are now or can be very quickly your warm market. Um, I'm interested to know, I'm just see if I can uh, put everybody's hand down a second. Um, how do you, uh, can you lower the, everybody's hand? Yeah, sir? I can do Debbie it. Or Angus, Put no hands or, Yeah, thank you very much. I, yeah. I haven't uh, check that bit yeah. yet. So I'm just interested to know who has heard of or who has used graph search before on Facebook. Um, maybe just raise your hand if you've heard of it and then I'll know roughly who hasn't heard of it and who doesn't know about it and who hasn't got it. So have you heard of, have you used, uh, I think it's called, it's, there's a couple of different ways, graph search or open graph. Um, raise your hand, let me just scroll through. Okay, so there's most people from what I see haven't, unless for some reason the hands, oh there we go, a load of people at the bottom, great. Um, you missed them all, Gavin. Yeah. There's only, about, there's only about a sixth of people, less than a sixth of people use it, so there's still a lot who haven't. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Well, that's good to know. Well, you're gonna, you're gonna, I'm going to show you something now that will, I, I, well, when I saw it, it blew my mind, it really did. The ability that you have with Facebook. Let me just get onto my Facebook now so I can show you. Um, I want to make sure that I'm on the right screen. Okay, let me there just... We go. Hey. Yep, we can see you. Um, we need to close the chat. <laughs> close that. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, okay, so basically, and, and it, it's probably worth you going to Facebook now, and I know Debbie said um, you know, stay out of your browser and stay away from things, but this will now be kind of a mini workshop to see, number one, to see if you've got graph search, um, mm -hmm. and, and number two, just so you can play around. You'll probably want to switch back to the, the browser so you can, see what, um, yeah. you can see what I'm doing every so often. So if you go to your Facebook, and just at the top here in the search, I'd be interested in if you type into the chat if you've got it in a minute, but just in the search at the top, just type in, um, let me think, so people, uh, people who yeah. like Network Marketing Pro, okay, let's just do that first, people who like Network Marketing Pro and just see if all of this information yeah. comes up here. Now, Network Marketing Pro is a big um, fan page from Eric Worre, which has been around for years, and he's got, you know, there's 376 likes on it, so 376,000 likes, let me correct myself, um, because 376 wouldn't be that good. <laughs> no. so, uh, so, so essentially, type into the, um, is it, is it best for the chat or the questions box, um, Debbie? It's, uh, it's, it'll be the questions box for them. It'll be the okay, questions just box. Type, type, yeah. into the, type into the questions box if you've got graph search enabled and if you haven't got it. And then in a few minutes, I'll show you how to enable it if you haven't. Because a lot of, Facebook have rolled this out over time gradually, mm. bit by bit. Um, and a lot of people haven't got it yet. But let me just show you as I wait for a few people to come through. Let's just imagine that your company was about to open in uh, a new um, in a new country, uh, and let's just oh say God, they so were um, that there's a big promotion. Everyone's getting excited, and you're like, "Well, great! I, I'd be. I, I wish I knew how to capitalize on that. I wish I knew how to actually take advantage of it, or even I wish I knew how to find other network marketers in my hometown or my home city or my home country." And with Graph Search, you can actually do that. Um, and what I tend to do is I'll find a, um, you can do something similar, but you'll find a graph search works on uh, queries. And I've got, and I'll, I'll give you, anybody who stays around till the end of this webinar, um, and I'll give you a, a link to post, I'll give you some of the queries that you can actually use in graph search to find a ton mm. of um, ton of people. Mm. I've got a couple That'd of page useful. documents here. Yeah. So yes, mm. I will give you that as a little cheat sheet, and I'll show you how to get that in a, in a few minutes, um, but basically, it works with queries, and so you can do it. The way that I do it at the moment is people who like Network Marketing Pro. That would be the fan page. So let's just mm -hmm. do that for a second. That's going to show you everybody who likes that fan page, um, starting like that. with your friends. So you can see already that 
generally people who like Network Marketing Pro are usually going to be network marketers. However, what you'll find is a lot of people like fan pages just for the sake of liking a fan page. So if they like one fan page, um, and, and uh, you've probably done this before, um, Angus or Beth, you know, you've yeah. got, or Debbie, you've probably liked a page just because somebody's asked you to like a page. Would, mm -hmm. would you, you think? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I think yeah, I think yeah. a lot of a lot of people tend to do that. So you can use this in combination. So people who like Network Marketing Pro and who like, let's just use Diane Hockman as a as an example, being as though she was the one who. Mm -hmm. bought um, Online Networkers Paradise to fruition, uh, so people who like Diane Hopman. So now you start to get people that are much more hardcore network marketers. Oh, look, like, that's me. <laughs> there you are. There's Beth, there's Kylie, there's William who's on as well. Uh, Angus, I don't know where Angus is, but he must be down here somewhere. I don't like her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell her. I don't like her. No. I'm gonna go and tell her. <laughs> <laughs> you best double check. You might we might find you in a second. But I'll be this somewhere. this will go, this will go through because you you probably got a lot of friends already that um that you've forgotten about that are network marketers that you could go back to about your opportunity and build a relationship with again and bring them back into the pre the closer circle to you to restrike up the relationship. Um, but as you scroll down further and further and further, you start to see people that aren't your there friends. There he is. Was he there? Where yeah. was he? Have I gone past him? I think he was. Sure. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You do like her. <laughs> so, yeah, as you scroll down, and I've obviously got a lot of people, a lot of people I'm connected with, but eventually you'll get to people that you're not friends with. Um, and I'll show you that bit in a second. But this is where it gets even more powerful. And there's a number of things you can do to find anybody you want to through these searches um, in any area you want to. So let's say for me, because I live near London in the UK, I want to find people who, I want, I want to find people, I want to connect with people who understand network marketing and I want to find people that have something in common with me that I can talk to because you probably know that it's much more easier to talk to somebody you've got in common, something in common with. Yeah. And if you go to the pub or a restaurant or if you go to a networking event, all of a sudden you talk to somebody you've never spoken to before and you find out that you've both got kids, you've both got animals, you both love football. It's much easier to strike up a conversation. So if what, I, what I'm going to do here, people who like Network Marketing Pro and who like Diane Hockman and who live in London. Now you've got to be a bit careful when you do this because there's a lot of options here. So make sure you select the right option. Um, I would go with the top option because this is you can see here. There's over five, five and a half million people like this um, as a kind of a demographic or a page. Um, so if you do that, now I find everybody who's a network marketer, basically who knows and likes Diane Hockman and who lives in London in the UK. Now, if an opportunity, if your opportunity or your company was opening in a different country, what you could do is go to that country and you could say, and who live in United Kingdom, and who live in um, India, and who live in a specific part. And um, again, I'll, if, I, if I ask um, you, you um, Deb, Debbie Angus and Beth, if but there was a there was a company, and obviously we're not talking about companies on this um, on this training mm -hmm. because this is completely generic. Um, feel yeah. free to invite um, people to this because these are the kind of things that we're going to be teaching you. But uh, there was a company that launched, I think it was last year, and there's there's always new companies launching. Mm -hmm. But I got an absolute ton of people uh, contacting me because I was a network marketer in the UK, and that company was launching in the UK. I don't know if you if you'd had anything like that. Uh, just a little bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just got slightly deluged when that uh, yes. launch was Whenever, happening for about happened, three but... months. <laughs> as, as Beth, has that ever, have, have you had that um, people come into? Yeah, you? definitely. Yeah. Yeah, and, and and it does it does happen a lot. And and with with gra with graph search now you can you can do that. You can contact people. You can find people, um, and you can you can contact them. So right now, if I go through this list here. There'll be a lot less now. It says fewer than a hundred people, and if you can see that in this little box here, uh, you can refine the search here. Um, I'm just interested, actually, before we go any further, who has it and who doesn't have it? Yeah, there's some um, people said that the searches weren't showing, Gavin, so I don't think they've got it. Okay, um, cool. So you were going to show us as well later how to get. Definitely. It 
yeah. 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 So if you haven't got it, stick around and I'll show you how to actually get it enabled um, on your account because like usual, Facebook doesn't um, tell you how to do anything. They just show you what they've got and then you kind of have to learn how to do it yourself. So what I would do is I would scroll through this list and as I say, you can start to see here now there's um, a number of people that I don't know or I'm not connected with yet, but these people are pretty much going to be network marketers if they like Diane Hopman, if they like Network Marketing Pro, um, plus also they live in um, London in the UK, so I've got a lot in common with these people mm -hmm. and I could, um, I don't know if, if, you, if you've ever tried to do this before, but you know if you go to message somebody now, often what will happen is it will go into their other folder. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, and I'm not entirely sure why, if it's, if it's to do with privacy settings, um, but sometimes it will go in other people's other folder, uh, which means they probably won't see it. Um, you know, I look in my other folder about every three or four weeks um, and see things that I probably should have read. <laughs> no, I just ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just ignore it. Because <laughs> um... usually it's people that you don't, that don't, you don't know, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it is. Gavin, um, are you able to just turn up your volume on your mic just a, a little bit? Because apparently I'm really loud and you're soft and sultry. Normal. Normal. <laughs> you know, this uh, is a good reminder, Gavin, because I used this last night after we were talking and I found a lot of new people just by looking for a particular company. Um, but how I was doing it, I was going down and I was... I was adding people, going and looking, but adding people who had a lot of mutual friends because for me that was an indication. But I like the way you're showing us that you can put in a few questions. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. And really I, narrow well, it down. what we'll what we can do then, um, Angus, if you want to work with me on this afterwards, what we can do is put together. A, um, I'm going to send people over a little cheat sheet, but just some mm -hmm. of the ideas that you've used that people can use yeah. as well. Um, that I think that would be very, very valuable. Is that something, just out of interest, um, is that something that would be of interest to you if we put together, now I've got a little cheat sheet already, but if maybe if I work with Angus and we come up with just some ideas that you can use, so just raise your hand if you'd like something like that and I'll make sure that you get yeah, a copy we'll get of it. Shitting up. Oh, awesome. In yeah. fact, and actually I've tried to turn my mic up, I'm not sure if it's, it's worked or not, probably not. Have you got a microphone or a headset on? Because I found last week that my Mac wasn't picking up loudly, and it normally does, but with this webinar I needed to actually plug myself in. Yeah, I've got, my, I've got a headset yeah. and mic, so, um, and it's, it's normally really loud, so yeah, yeah I don't, I'm not but sure. It sounds fine here. Mel says you're very loud. Oh, Mel says you're loud. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> loud. Yeah. Very loud. <laughs> Hopefully not too loud. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. probably the loudest. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> I turned to, actually, I turned mine up before I got on. I adjusted my audio settings. Mm. Yeah, I think I did the same, and it sounded like I was quite loud. And anyway, if you go to um, facebook.com forward slash, whilst you're on Facebook, go to online networkers paradise, facebook.com forward slash, and I don't know if there's a way for um, one of you to type that into the chat so everyone will see that, um, facebook.com forward slash online networkers paradise. Um, and then let me just switch my screen sharing back so I can come back to what I was doing. Um, I'm just going to bring up... Online Networkers Paradise for a second. So I want to show you something. If you, what we just talked about with regards to the cheat sheet um, and what Angus was talking about as well, if you go to the top thread that I've posted here and it says um, if you were on the Online Network, uh, uh, Online Network Marketers Facebook Warm uh, Power Strategy uh, webinar today and would like a copy of the Graph Search cheat sheet, uh, leave a quick comment here if you love the training and if it's been beneficial to you. Um, and we'll get it sent over to you because I, I need to know who would like a copy of mm -hmm. it. So if you go on over and just like that and leave a quick comment and if you haven't already done so, make sure you like the um, Online Networkers Paradise fan page um, and we'll make sure you get a copy um, copy of that. And I'll again, I'll bring that back up um, shortly so you can get the link as well. But so essentially what you do is you just walk through, run through a few of these people and what I normally do um, is is I'd, I'd find out a little bit more about these about this person before I connected with her. So Wumi, um, I would um, I, normally I'll right click on her name so I don't lose this search, and I'll open in a new tab. And what I'll do is I'll just have a quick look at through her profile. I'll just see if she's somebody that I would like to connect with. 
Um, and the great thing with Facebook is that you can essentially you can spy on most people before um, you've ever even connected with them. So you get to know everything about that person or, or a lot of things that they've put on Facebook before um, you, you've ever spoken to them. And you know, to build a relationship, it helps if you can talk to them about something that is. Um, is something that you've got in common. So I would scroll through her profile, I would have a look at her website, you know, I'd click here, go and have a look, um, and then I would go through, have a look at some of the photos. Uh, you can see here Bob, uh, Bob I think was on, um, Bob's there, yeah. mutual friend in common, uh, Mavis Nong, um, and often you'll have a, a lot of mutual friends. So once you've done that, um, and I'm probably not, uh, this is more to show you about graph search mm -hmm. than actually how to connect with people exactly the right way and that will probably be another training that we'll do um, in the near future but you would then just send a quick message uh, uh, like a, a connection message um, just talking talking about something that she knows about and um, you know hey um, I've just just come across you um, it looks like uh, for me I'd say it looks like you you know Diane Hopman or you like Diane Hopman and you also live in London it's great to connect so you know I'd send a quick message um, to her and I'd say, hey, woo me, uh, just noticed that Excellent typing, Gavin. Excellent yes. typing. Yes. <laughs> this is change. very interesting because this would often I get people who message me and say to me, what's your name? Or they message me and say, where do you live? And you yes. think, or I get lots of females who message me and are looking for my hand in marriage. And I say, well, if, you look, and I say, well, if you look at my profile, then you will know things about me. Yeah. <laughs> By my name or where I live. Hello, dear. <laughs> Hello, dear. <laughs> Hello, love. <laughs> yeah. I'm a like-minded individual. Yes. Don't Definitely. ever say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that different people do things, and and many of you um, on here right now probably get people messaging you, um, and number a number of messages from people that you can see they're completely canned, um, and often you know, or, or even worse, and I'm sure you've all had this. Uh, somebody sends you a message without ever getting to know you and starts to try to send the link to their business in the message straight away uh, with like about five pages of information about the opportunity and it's like what? and you probably you've never ever ever joined a business like that so if you do do that yourself have a think about what happens when you get a message like that and what do you do you probably just ignore it you probably just delete the message and you just get on with your life. So that's what's going to happen if you send messages like that. So you have to get to know people gradually. And just by reaching out to Wumi, now I've never met her before, just notice we both like Diane Hopman and you uh, like Diane Hopman page, I'll probably put, um, and you live in London, just wanted to reach out and connect with you. Um, I might say, how long have you been marketing on the internet for? And I. I generally I'll switch this message up depending on who I'm talking to but you can get through this you can do 10 of these people with you know it's taking me a long time now because I'm talking but I'll quickly send her a message um, and some people I've noticed say if you'd like to connect with me as a friend send me a quick friend request um, often what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I hate that. Sorry, yeah. I, I hate that as well. I hate that. Yeah. So, yeah. If you want to be my send friend. me a friend request. Add <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and and yeah, and and I'm the same as well, and I, you know, I yeah, prefer sorry. to send people. Can you keep that screen there for a minute? Can I show you? There's a button to the right of Add Friend that says Follow. Yeah. Yes. And that's what this I one. tend to do. Yeah. If you, I mean, we're going to talk about how to connect another time, but I personally, and this is my personal thing, like I don't tend to message people first. I hit the Follow button. Yep. Because if you hit follow, it means that people will get an indication that you are following them. And I find that out of maybe 10 people that I follow, about maybe one of them will follow me back or send me a message. So I find, you know, if people are not sure what to message or things, that I find that's the way that you're not worrying about, you know, people rejecting you or going in the wrong box or whatever. 
Yes, and that's a great a great way, yeah, and I think that's that's a, I think that's something that Diane teaches as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. And so, so yeah, and you'll you'll find that people will pick up on what mm -hmm. you post because they'll come back and they'll notice who you are. Um, so d different people again, uh, and you know th this is the great thing about the internet is there is no right or wrong. Yeah. Um, exactly. Different people, and you can pick up strategies from different people and use different things that work best for you. And I would always say do that. I mean, for me, I, I guess I've I guess I've always message people um, and that's just the way that I guess that I, I do things mm, yeah. um, just to connect with people and um, you know fo following people um, it works equally as well to get people to come back to you. Uh, okay. Let me just show you how to um, how to right, enable... well, Just getting yeah. something else done. Debbie did also ask the question. She said mm -hmm. do you do the graph searching from your fan page or personal profile? Very good question. Um, Personally, I do it, and I'm not sure if you can actually do it from your fan page, but I, you may be able to. But I always do it from my personal, personal yeah. profile um, yeah. because it works. Uh, it definitely works that way, but I'm not sure about the other way. Cool. And um, we're yeah, and people so, were asking how to get it as well. Sorry. How to get it? Yep. Yeah. So I'll show you that now. So cool. if you don't have it enabled, um, do this now along with me. If you go to your settings um, and go to click on your little arrow here on the top right of your screen. Click on that, go down to where it says settings and click on the settings button. And then what you'll see here, it'll just pop up with your general account settings. If you go to uh, language here and just change your language to English US. Now I'd be interested, I was looking at this earlier, I'd be interested if somebody could tell me what English upside down is. And what <laughs> English pirate is? Oh, that's from Australia. Kylie Nance does the upside down one. <laughs> I like the pirate Australia. version because we can. Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, what is it? I don't know. So, so <laughs> change it to English US, and then save your changes. Uh, refresh your screen um, and come back to Facebook and you should, I, I'm not saying 100% definite it will because Facebook may change what they, they've done, but you'll probably will have graph search on there. Um, yeah, that's how bad that is. Let, let's, let's just open up now because I think I've, I've gone into a fair amount of detail. I know I haven't showed you everything I wanted to, um, but I will give you the... I Gavin, mean, you can do so much with graph search. Yes, sorry. Yeah. Gavin, while you're in um, the settings, etc., um, mm -hmm. sometimes people don't have follow activated yeah. on their Facebook profiles. Can you I, show us well, how... Can you show me how to do it first? Because I am actually... Don't even, I might not even have follow activated on mine. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope that's not the case. I think well, Angus probably the followers knows. To the yeah. left hand side there. Followers, I yeah. I yeah, was, I think so. Yeah. It's a long time since I've done it. And then... Yeah, who can follow me? So who it's can the follow? top one. Okay. Yeah. And then you've got your choices up there. So you've just got everybody okay, cool. or friends. So yours is activated. Gavin. Good. It's prob I we probably can, did it a long time ago. But because if, see, when you were saying, Gavin, earlier on about the graph search, if I'm using graph search like I did last night, sometimes if I'm maybe doing it in a hurry, you know, and I've not got a lot of time to connect in detail, I'll just go through and follow some people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, like, yeah. I and. If, if I'm going down people and have not got their follow button switched on, I don't normally communicate with them. That's just a so, so, so you Gavin, you've just picked up a follower. Look, did you see that? Yeah, I did. Oh, <laughs> that's good stuff. So, so, no, yeah, so I don't so, tend to follow people. I don't message people or add them as a friend first. So basically, would you do this? So you'd go through here I'd now. I'd go through you'd there, click on and then I'd look at that. I'd see they've got 93 mutual friends, including yeah. Jackson, Debbie. So if I had time, I'd go in and look at her profile. If I wanted to meet people before I went to bed, I would just click follow. Awesome. That's a really fast way of doing it, isn't it? That's what I do because, yeah, you know, if you are decided you're going to meet 10 it's, people. It's less invasive. And then mm. you can see in your timeline what they're up to, or you should be able yeah. to see in your timeline what they're up to, and then you can start to comment on the things that they're doing mm -hmm. and start to build that engagement yeah. with with people because it's all about the engagement and like you exactly. say bringing that concentric circle that outside circle mm -hmm. and bringing it in and in and in until you've got that great relationship um you've 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 built that you know there's there's a f quite a few people on the webinar tonight that most of us know and and you know they might be not necessarily 
bang in the center of our concentric circles of friendship but maybe yeah. one just one circle out even yeah. and then there's some other people there's names that we recognize and they might be two or three cent, um, circles out and and we can start to engage with those people if we can see what they're doing on their timelines and yeah. it's coming into ours so yeah. if I, sorry yeah. I was gonna say Debbie, go. you're absolutely right because we, we try I mean contacting 10 people and messaging them every day can be quite time-consuming mm -hmm. But yeah. it just connecting just necessarily means just liking something that they do or just leaving a comment on um, something or just letting people know that you're there in the background kind of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. That, that was a revelation for me, you know, to do it. If you're working, sometimes you're trying to fit everything around it. And I remember, I, I mean, you didn't teach us, Gavin, I'm not saying that, but so I remember that, you know, I used to initially think it meant add 10 friends a day. Mm. Yeah. It doesn't, it just means communicate with people. So. Yeah, you've got no different. you've got no underlying agenda other than that you exactly. are looking to expand your circles exactly. of influence yeah. in a in a subtle mm, way. And if you've but, done that, if you've followed them later on when you've got more time, like the way Gavin was showing us there, you can then go in and find your followers and you can start going in and maybe message them if you want, you know, or you can start liking their stuff. Because if, if someone follows you. Or maybe if you follow them as well, you can go in and comment on their stuff. I think I think the other big big thing as well is to is to go back through some of your um, yeah. existing contacts as well that you're already connected to because you know I went through um, I, I've I'm, I've got a, a launch something that I'm working on and I'm going back through and I'm talking to a number of people um, but I'm actually going back through my they're, they're kind of warm market already they're people that know yeah. me um, but I've never really spoke to them before. Um, and I literally just opened the dialogue, and, and, and a couple of people came back today, and they says, "Yeah, I know, I know you. I've seen you around, and I've, I've looked at some of your stuff." And it's quite funny, and, and you probably get this as well that mm -hmm. oftentimes you won't even realise that people are watching you and they're listening to you and they're following mm -hmm. your trainings exactly. because they yeah. don't comment or they don't like stuff. But there's still a ton of people in the background that are mm -hmm. actually doing that and, and watching. Yeah. So you're sitting on a gold mine with, um, if yeah. you've got, I would say, over a couple of hundred people um, on your uh, as friends. And if you then go and if you click on your friends, because Tina, I think it was, was asking, how do you know who's following you? If you click on your friends, then it will show you there's different tabs. All friends recently added followers and who's following you. I've actually, now if you ask me, Gavin, about friends, I've got 1,700 friends. I've got 3,600 people following me. Awesome. Ooh. That is scary. Like, I never realised that. Get you. I, I'm following 600. So, you know, that's quite an eye opener for people if you actually go in and look at, like, these people who are following me, I could take 10 of these people a day and just go in and start, you know, doing the stuff that we're talking about. That would take me forever. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Has anybody got any questions that you wanted um, clarified? I can see there's a ton of um, messages in here. Um, William, let me just have a quick look. Yeah, that's yeah. a good question William posted there. Do you want to read that one out? Uh, William's message? Yeah, if you follow Is it in... Yeah. Uh, it's in the question. Oh, okay. So here we go. So if you follow people, does this not mean that you will see everything they post yeah. to their page? I have just cleared a lot of friends away from my page because all they done was post links and I felt this was detrimental for my brand. But by removing them from my wall updates faster, um, and is now cleaner and I'm getting more interaction. Yeah, I think uh, with what you're saying, William, perhaps the people that you were friending initially were not necessarily the right target market as such for you. They weren't the right type of friends. They did, you didn't have um, mutual um, interests as such, on, you know, on a business perspective. What would you say? About that, Gavin. Um, I, I th Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Um, I, I th sorry, I was, I was actually just looking at um, the comments. So you, you'd have to repeat what your question to me because I miss, miss her the last part. <laughs> I was looking at all the comments that everyone's left, and I'll show you them in a second. Okay. Uh, shall I answer that, Debbie? You answer that one, Beth. Go yeah, for it. Perfect. 
I yeah. would say that it's actually a positive thing uh, mm -hmm. using the follow button because then, like William, you've noticed, you can kind of sort through the ones that are going to be a beneficial relationship to you. So using the follow button in that way, you'll you'll pick up more people and um, people mm -hmm. interested in you and vice versa. But then you can, like you say, get rid of them. So it's it's probably easier than just adding people as friends or them adding you as mm -hmm. friends because it's uh, it's that sifting mechanism. Mm. Mm. And if you go in, I've just gone into some people who I'm following and it's you can switch your notifications on and off if you want notifications. So um, I believe, because I've just tested a few, it looks like the people who I'm following I'm not getting notifications are switched off. But you know, that's something you can check and investigate while you see. Yeah. That's in the settings. I see a question um, from uh, Angela says, does graph search work on the iPhone? I don't no. think so. I've never used it on the iPhone before. It doesn't work yet on the Facebook app. I'm just about to go and check and log on in Safari and see if it works there. Awesome. And Barry says, I have graph search and my language is set to English UK. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just laughing at the next, the last comment. Yeah. Um, Sorry, but, Barry, I wasn't laughing at your uh, question. Uh, yeah, so uh, it, it must work in different with different languages, English, um, UK, <laughs> English, US. Uh, so Margaret. So Mar Margaret's asked this question. <laughs> we, we have to, Margaret, now you've asked it, we've got to share it publicly. So it says, um, about if you've made a graph connection and you've vomited all over them already, how do you save this relationship? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Delicately, I would say, Margaret, and um, take the tissues with you or the Kleenex, <laughs> whatever it is. Start as you need to go on. So I say, just draw a line over it and uh, under it, and just uh, yeah, pretend it wasn't you. Pretend you, you were just having a bad time. <laughs> it was your alter <laughs> ego. Yeah, you no, know, you were, you were, you were. Um, what's the word? You were hacked. Yeah. 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 You know what, any relationship can genuinely um, be saved. Uh, there's a guy that I, I chat to, I don't think he's on the webinar tonight, uh, but we started off, we had a, a very kind of turmoil type of relationship and he would message me and he was very angry about this, that and the other or something I'd said and da 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 and I'd be like, not quite understanding and this went on for about six, eight months and now this guy something snapped, something happened, mm -hmm. I said something differently and now this guy absolutely loves loves, you. loves me, he's a fantastic guy, he's a great marketer but it just started off on the wrong foot. Mm -hmm. um, and that's how Debbie and Angus yeah, got we to hated each other. <laughs> 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 I used to be scared to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey look, uh, at, it, look it, at my notifications uh, on my screen, one, one, one. Oh gosh! Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, that. people get so frustrated and annoyed with me sometimes, and and sometimes other people love it because I always seem to see elevens, eleven, eleven, and one all ones all the time, and I notice them quite frequently. And um, my little sister's like, "Will you just be quiet about it? Stop talking about it." And other people like, at least it's things. not six, six, six. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. If I started seeing that, I'd be a bit concerned. Yeah, Barry, I've just gone back to UK English and I've got graph search now, but I know that. It was being rolled out, um, like countries at a time, but also profiles at a time. So what Gavin's time shown time. us definitely works if you don't have it. You know, obviously we love our American friends, but they did get it first. So if you do switch to English US, um, yeah, you know yeah. you definitely will get. It. I've just noticed. Um, I've mm -hmm. just noticed a message from David uh, Dodd. It might be worth. It. I just want to cover something very quickly, and then we'll wrap up. Um, and then if yeah. um, if one of you Probably wants to yeah. maybe reply to that, or what we might do is we might actually turn your question into a training that we'll do in the very near future. But next week we've got an incredible training um, for you, so make sure you're on about how to tell your story on the internet. And when you're able to do that in such a way that it, it just gets people, because people want to know who you are as a person, they want to be able to connect with you, you no longer a kind of a, a facade or some kind of standoffish type person, you become a real life person with feelings, with thoughts, with family, with hobbies. When there's a way to actually tell that story in, in, in the right way and use the internet to do it, it uh, 
a lot you'll find a lot more people will follow you and listen to you and pay attention to mm -hmm. you so yeah. make sure you come on to that next week and um, we'll put out the event details basically if you're registered for this week already then you're already registered for next week but feel free to this we're doing this training it's generic training meaning we're not going to talk about companies we're not going to promote something we're not going to sell something we're not going to mention um, names of uh, you know, opportunities etc this is for you to, to teach you these skills um, some of the skills that we've learned over you know for me over the last 15 years um, and for the others I probably well, I don't know however long a, a long period of time so we've got a lot of experience and um, but there's going to be guest trainers coming on each week um, to teach you some of those skills so feel free to invite your downline invite your friends along to these webinars I don't know if anyone wanted to answer that question from David at all before we wrap up I was going to say I'm just that. It now. All right, okay, sorry. Sorry. Go, Beth, go. Go, go. Go, Betty, go. Go, Betty, boo. <laughs> Are you typing an answer, do you mean, Beth? Sorry, I'm typing the answer. Sorry. Oh, sorry. you're typing the answer, right. Oh, okay, yeah, we thought you was going to share with all of us. I know. Oh, gonna okay. say, Angus, I can do that. Gonna say I, that. I was going to say, you know, that it's one of these things, there's no right or wrong answers. It's what feels good for you. You're not... I mean, I can't stand it if I go into someone's profile and it's just full of links, links, links. And as Gavin said, you know, you're wanting people, people definitely get to know me and definitely get to know all of us by looking at our profiles. But it's how you market. You know, some people market through their fan page, Diane Hawkman, who is our mentor, who we all follow and love. Like, she very much is, you know, she does it through usually her personal profile, but it's finding out what works for you. What did Beth say in her reply? I, can't see. I, I just put um, that there isn't a formula as such, which I think is what you just said, um, but it's just about engaging, sharing content that's interesting, um, and then no one is going to get annoyed if you just throw a networking, network marketing link out there every once in a while. Some people will mm -hmm. get cross and they might tell you, but do you know what? You can't please everybody all the time, so as long as you're doing yeah. some good engaging stuff, then uh, feel free to to mm. share your messages. And we will show you in future trainings, we'll be showing you different ways, you know, with pictures and things. It's not just spewing your links all over the place in a way that hopefully yeah. mm. gets yeah. more interesting links and things. So. Absolutely. Awesome. Absolutely. Some great stuff. And um, uh, just, just to say as well, for next week, for, for the online um, storytelling that we're going to show you, if anybody is in a um, network marketing company that um, has a product, that um, you're not mm -hmm. allowed as such to make medical no. claims. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you know, you, you're not allowed to say that this particular cream, mm -hmm. this particular, you know, uh, face pack, whatever, 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 is going to do X, Y, Z to you. Then we can show you how Z. you can package your particular product, your particular business, so that it, you know, all of that kind of resistance just magically disappears yeah. absolutely magically how cool disappears. is that very, that is training cool. to definitely very come cool. to yeah definitely, definitely very very cool all so. right well uh, make sure you um, go to uh, facebook.com forward slash online networkers paradise and at the top I'll just show you and then we'll wrap up um, I've already seen about 15 comments um, mm -hmm. at the top cool. here uh, powerful thinking powerful results just follow that if you want a copy of the cheat sheet for tonight so you can use uh, graph search a bit better just leave a quick comment um, and make sure you like online networkers paradise page and I uh, will make sure you get a copy of that within the next couple of days. So I just want to say a huge thank you to our wonderful panel for um, being on tonight. We're going to have um, an incredible training next week um, and thank you to everybody for being here and being on. I know it's uh, Easter Monday or Bank Holiday yeah, Monday, certainly in the UK, so we've had a, an incredible turnout. Um, and I'm so grateful for you to be in here and to, to basically to investing in your ed education um, uh, and by being here. But keep things simple. Your team will only duplicate when you keep things simple. And probably yeah. in three to six months, maybe a year, you'll realize that. But I'd like you to realize it sooner than later. Yeah. So yeah. thanks thank again. You. And thank you very much, Gavin. That was great and really easy to follow. Awesome. Great. Fantastic. Thank All right. You. I'll stop recording. Trying. See if we can get you a recording of that if necessary. And I'll speak to you all soon. Take care. Thank Thanks you. again. Bye. Bye for now. Bye. 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 Bye.